Well, I'm just leaving the house, and as you can see, I've got my bags with me. I've got five big bags, and I'm going to pick up five bags of trash. <sighs> Wish me luck. <sighs> my ankle. Hi okay, guys, so in today's video I'm going to be talking about anxiety. Now, I'm not as anxious as I used to be growing up and going to school, going to college. I used to be very on edge, nervous sort of person. I'm not like 100% confident now, but I am somewhat more confident and outgoing. Like for instance, when I used to go to school, when I used to go to college, I used to always have this like cloud over my head like I was going to be in trouble or just like butterflies in my stomach and I was just like constantly sort of in a state of like perspiration like I was going to be in trouble um, and even after, long after I went to college I still felt sort of uneasy and like going for interviews like work placement interviews and um, just, general, just generally you know being Having one-on-one -on -one sessions with teachers sometimes always made me feel ill at ease. In fact, even I'm feeling a bit nervous even now. I'm feeling a little uneasy and anxious even trying to record this video now. I went through about three like takes, and I was like, "Okay, just calm down." And even like say my first video, I was extremely nervous recording my first. Um, my my yeah, see even now, my first video in my life with autism. Some videos I'm completely fine, I'm okay, and I'm calm, relaxed, and then I have sort of in the back of my mind, like, I don't feel like I'm providing good quality content, because I see lots of other channels, and I know someone I know through YouTube who I respect greatly says that I shouldn't compare myself to other people, but it's very hard not to when those that are, I know age can be a factor, but those that are far younger than me doing so much better. It's constantly on my mind, it's a constant issue and worry with me. But anyway, anxiety. I was never a very outgoing person, and I think I've touched upon another video. I never really had much of a childhood. Or I never really enjoyed it all that much. I don't know what else to say now. Anxiety. Uh, like I just felt like I was constantly getting into trouble and I knew I wasn't doing, you know, looking back now I wasn't doing anything to be in trouble but I just felt, I don't know, like not worthless but like left out and like no one really made an effort with me I feel looking back now, maybe one or two people did but for the most part, I don't feel teachers did enough to sort of help me. Which is why I'm the way I am now. And I'm getting a tiny bit better, but... It's like I've left it too late. Maybe you know what I mean by that, maybe you don't. I'd like more views, I'd like more comments, that would make me happy. But anyway, that's going off topic. I do this with every video, go off topic. I don't really stick to a subject. Like, um, another example, good example is, um, I would wait till my parents leave the house and then I would go out. Or I would go out first thing in the morning while they're still asleep. Because I'd feel anxious that they would enter my personal space, my room. And Everyone upstairs in our house like had locks on their doors. I don't know if my parents really use their locks anymore. I still use mine. I shouldn't really, but um like I'm a lot more outgoing and a lot more ill at ease now, although I might not seem it in this little video you might see. Like I've cut back on a lot of my anxious behaviour, like I don't wait till they go out before I go out. I'll sometimes go out when they're still here, my parents, 
and I usually used to have a set time where I'd go off for like 90 minutes but I don't do that anymore, I like play it fast and loose go out whenever I want, whatever time I want I'm a lot more, a lot less strict than I used to be I'm a lot more free and easy I think I might leave it there because I don't really know what else to say on the matter but that's, anxi that's um, anxiety covered somewhat I'm running out of ideas for videos, I don't know what else to record or talk about. But if you have a suggestion, I'd appreciate it and have a good day. My parents always go grocery shopping, so I'm trying to save my own money and not buy my own groceries. But for some reason my father likes to buy pizzas with meat on them. He doesn't buy pizzas for himself or for my mother. But yeah, I have to take all the pepperoni off. I don't really say anything because I have an issue when it comes to eating. This is in the cupboard once again. I don't know why I keep showing the cupboard. <laughs> I don't know it's a talking point, I suppose.